Hey, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage, and we are back today with an Orcus Raid update here uh, with regards to my Alliance trying it for the first time. As you can see, um, our side's almost complete, actually, with 100%. And keep in mind, this is difficulty zero. But I did get a chance this morning to go through nodes one and nodes two for, for the tech nodes, which have been arguably the hardest nodes if you've already been able to partake in the other section. So um, in today's video, I want to walk you guys through what worked for myself as well. Obviously, with this being difficulty zero, we know it's going to ramp up quite a bit as the difficulty increases here. Uh, these enemies are going to get stronger and stronger. Having said that, um, the bulk of my work was actually done without this team. So this is my Pegasus right now. Um, and I've been wanting to hold back on leveling them because we know that there's a new Orcus tech team coming. But this is what worked for myself. Um, this team was used very minimally. It was actually other tech characters that brought me to the finish line. And then finally... After those sacrifices, after those abilities being soaked up by my other tech members, that's when I brought in Pegasus. And you will, you will see that in the gameplay footage, but more so, it's going to be pervasive in the node too. So that way, just embrace your guys, embrace yourselves, because you'll need other tech characters in the meantime until this new tech team comes. Having said that, um, yeah, I mean, thankfully, the good news is that there's a lot of good tech characters in the game that's not named um pegasus and we can start kind of taking a look at what those characters would be um i also want to point out i brought in two characters that i brought in for dark dimension 7 so just to give you guys a sense of how powerful you may need to scale for some of these characters you completely want to walk over them in these lower difficulties especially since they have been designed to take down pegasus for myself personally i brought in vulture um i think he's a great character for dark dimension already so if you can build him up in the meantime he can cushion give you a little bit more value in this game mode as well i think the fact that a lot of these um you know sinister six superior six characters if you can bring them in they're gonna have value right now and at least until the orcus tech team comes another big one for me personally i think i'm gonna have to rechange my strategy here after seeing my gameplay is that big time spider man's really good i brought him into dark dimension 7 because of my resource constraint but um he's always been a good character he was utilized in the arena meta before um all this annihilator uh, has uh, completely reshaped the meta but dark dimension a value the fact that he can, he's cheap um and he, he's he hits like a truck as you'll see in my gameplay footage right um another good one is iron patriot i'm planning to bring him into dark dimension 7 so i mean if you want to upgrade him all the way boom right there that's three characters that are dark dimension 7 viable and obviously kestrel is going to be a lock later on but in the meantime i haven't uh, pull the trigger uh, upgrading her all the way just yet just because of the the resources kang's another good one you can argue that he's a dark dimension 7 lock as well i mean that gives you the five right there right but other characters like hank pym where we know we're going to be needing him potentially in the future for the next pocket dimensions event next week you can get some double value with penny parker especially if you have the skill nodes at the very end um on the right side i think that's uh that's where it lands but yeah uh, uh, spire society is a really good one and then like i said earlier other sinister six superior six characters like doc ock um spider slayer and so all of them can be viable options guys but let me show you what worked for myself and again keep in mind in retrospect this is difficulty zero so I, obviously as this ramps up i think i'm gonna have to rechange my strategy but it is interesting now that we can kind of start you know formulating some ideas once those difficulty levels increase here for us to see how effective they can or can't be having said that let's get right into it the gameplay footage so again, those five that I mentioned, Vulture, Kang, Kestro, uh, Big Time Spider-Man, and Iron Patriot. And the cool thing about each of them is they do have value in other game modes. Like you can bring them in the Dark Dimension. Um, if the arena meta shifts again, Big Time can have value given how uh, fast he is. So um, thankfully, uh, the good news is that we have a huge power differential, but it can start giving us an idea here of what to do, right? Um, so right from the get-go, um, just check this out. Like the Big Time Ultimate that can completely strip away uh, Lizard's buffs um, and his taunts initially in the beginning. Um, this team is strong enough to withhold a uh, North Star Ultimate, so you don't need to do the sack because this sack can actually get the job done. Uh, what's going to be more interesting is in the future here, um, you know, how this is going to hold up against higher levels. You can see Kang, his special coming in very, very effectively because not only was he able to do some really effective damage, but he cleared all the barrier that was down the middle. Uh, so this is what I mean. Um, you, you bring in some characters that were designed uh, really well already. And keep in mind, the enemies we're up against are, you know, intended to counter Pegasus, but they're not intended to counter other tech characters. So that's why I do think there is going to be some theory crafting opportunities here in the meantime until the Orcus tech team comes. But then, um, yeah, big one. If you want to, maybe I probably should have saved this special for um, the next node, but I just wanted to see how, how well it would do. Uh, so we're doing really, really good. 
Um, and the, the other pain point hero is going to be the Black Cat and then the Green Goblin classics as well because of the charges they get. Uh, so obviously they're going to be very, very dangerous later on. Um, Cabal obviously would have uh, have a strong say in this. But yeah, um, I would actually caution you guys if you're using Kang, save his ultimate. We're going to be needing it in the next node as you'll see later on. But um, yeah, this is this is nice because we were able to test this out and, and see how effective this team was. And we still get Kestrel's pinged attacks too, uh, which makes this even more of a devastating team. I would say if you have the resources to bring Kestrel all the way up, you're going to need her in Dark Dimension already anyway. So um, you might be getting some extra value if you can have her in her optimal form. Uh, also with her being a Strike original character, she's always going to have value in the future. So as you guys can see, easy clean finish here for node one. Uh, but again, this is probably not the hardest node. I would say node two is going to be arguably the hardest node as the difficulty ramps up. Now, this is the node that uh, due to popularity, it's been uh, circulated that, you know, you're going to be needing a lot of sacrifice attempts for this uh, node specifically, unless you have a very powerful team already soaking up the damage. So this is what, what I want to test out. Or once again up against another North Star mixture. So they just love using that to counter the Pegasus team. So it's going to be very important. I think um, you have to aim for North Star in this one. You have to make sure he's not alive if you do bring in your Pegasus team. Um, you can see there with the ultimate from Kang, just how uh, well barriered this team is, right? We weren't even able to finish off any enemies from a full gear tier 18 Kang ultimate. And that just gives you a sense of how powerful uh, this team really is going to be in the future here. Thankfully, they finally get their chance to go through their attacks, and we, um, you know, have gone through the taunt as well. So now we can start kind of targeting some enemies. I would, you know, uh, use all the abilities, try to, once again, aim for North Star, maybe even, maybe even switch around some ISO weight so that way you're targeting more damage on North Star later on. Uh, but the problem with this node is going to be uh, the moment a couple enemies drop, there's a Spire Weaver that follows, and there's a Nightcrawler. Um, they're going to get value with the, uh, the Kitty Prides and as well as Dazzler. Uh, so that's where it gets problematic. I think, I think, North Star combined with the Weaver on this node is going to be extremely scary. Um, and you can see the only reason we're even holding up a candle to these guys is because uh, we're just geared better. We're, we have stronger uh, ability stats and everything across the board. Once we're up against the diamond version of these enemies, it's going to be very, very scary. They're just, you know, having their way with us here. As you can see, trauma, the, the control, we're not really getting much out of this. And um, this is where I would recommend if you're in a position like this where there's a lot of debuffs, it may even be better just to back out at this point, right? So I'm just waiting to see how strong their abilities are. And I'm trying to burn some of the charges. But um, if you leave the match, I think the charges actually go with it. Or or I think uh, actually with that last attack, it could have just expired the charge. But that that's the good approach of doing it. Because now, that was a very, very effective sack. Um, you can now officially bring in your Pegasus team. Uh, even with my Pegasus being lower at 1.6 million, uh, I'm just going to give uh, Kestrel a quick heal here. Uh, this should be more than good enough now because we've taken down some of the, p the, the key points that were able to counter uh, specifically the Pegasus team. And um, you can see here, now we're in a great position. No charges on a Weaver. We're going to go down the middle with uh, Kestrel Special. Should be able to one-shot given the power differential. Uh, and now we're in a great position. Five out of 15 enemies remaining. Um, so the... Again, not a great representation of how it's actually going to be in the higher difficulties, but uh, what we can start doing is uh, employing some of these strategies to see what we can do in the higher difficulties, which uh, allies on our team do have some value, are effective against these enemies, um, or maybe it's just a straight up soaking, a soaking uh, intention with this team where you just try to soak up as much damage as possible and you bring in Pegasus to clean up. But regardless, I was pretty happy with these results. Because we, we know that the, these nodes were going to be the hardest in this uh, in this raid. And I'm glad to see that we have alternative tech characters that have been brought up. And it looks like they're going to have some value here. Especially if they can soak up damage like this. And effectively put Pegasus in a position of success. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this is insightful. I only was able to get the two nodes done. But this is, these are the two nodes that matter more than the boss node. As you'll have your alliance mates in the boss node anyways. My alliance already cleared it. So... Um, hopefully this is helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But yeah, we just had this last section here clean up, and that's it for our Orcus side. So um, let me know how your guys' lanes are going, what's worked, what hasn't. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.